Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. So lovely to speak to you both. Hi, nice yeah, to lovely see to you. Meet you. Um, I've just been binge watching the series pretty much all in one go. So <laughs> I'm totally obsessed with the story. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so brilliant. Um, but maybe you can just give us um, a brief introduction to the series, what it's all about and why you wanted to play your particular characters. It's a dystopian yeah. kind of slumber party thing. And, you know, it's it deals with like all these backgrounds of like these girls that come together. And, you know, when they're stripped of like their freedom and their patience because of the island that, you know, it really brings out who they really are inside. And the best part about playing my character, like that was your second question, right? The yes. Best, yeah. Um, I feel like it was her um, challenge for me. Like she had like elements to her. I still had yet to figure out myself. And I, I feel like that was my favorite part, the challenge and the contrast between me and her. Yeah, I mean, um, The Wild is, as Jenna said, a survival drama slumber party highlighting <laughs> and celebrating these eight um, diverse young women and the stories that they have to offer and the stories that they tell. Um, and yeah, surviving teenagehood as a teenage girl. Um, and Tony is this, yeah, she's just a, she's a passionate, like she's got a fiery spirit um, and getting to embody this sort of sometimes explosive uh energy was awesome and what i love about it is that it does kind of combine these two quite contrasting elements of the sort of lord of the flies survival bit and then you know these really quite real um sort of gritty looks you know coming of age and really sort of challenging situations and and the trauma that each of these characters has suffered so was that something that really appealed to you that it kind of brought those things together in quite an original way absolutely i think um like having the parallels of, as you say, like this um, really grounded, these grounded stories of all these eight young women. And then also this, um, this setting, this really high stakes um, survival setting, Lord of the Flies. Um, yeah, really parallels the experience of both, you know, the, the struggle that each girl is going through, but then also just the struggle of surviving. Apart from like survival, it's like, it's also like, uh, you know, what a modern teenage girl goes through. It's like all these problems, like they're still there on the island. It's just, you know, to a different and whole new extent, you know, because their freedom is stripped from them and, you know, their basic, their survival skills have to kick in. So it kind of relates to, you know, how you survive through everyday society as a woman. And yeah, I think it's Leah's character actually says at some point, like if you actually want to understand what's happened, you need to look at what's happened before they even reach the island. <laughs> it's kind of shining a light, isn't it, on what women, young women face in, in, in modern day society in a way. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And what about your experience of actually filming it? I mean, it does look like you sort of almost were on this island. It looks so like <laughs> you, by the end, you really- I mean, we done. were, I mean, it definitely helped <laughs> that we actually were, but <laughs> for sure. Was there like any moment that was particularly challenging or a real highlight? I mean, it looks like you all really bonded as well. Yeah, we really did. I think, um, I mean, it made, there were definitely moments where, you know, you don't have to act being freezing cold and being battered by the elements because you absolutely are. So it, um, <laughs> it was, it, there were, you know, in moments there was, there was not a lot of acting required, but I think, um, yeah, favorite moments are just when, you know, moments of when all eight of us are on set together and we have those dynamic group scenes and we just get to bounce off each other with, you know, whether it's a crazy stormy day, which comes with its own beautiful challenges or, you mm -hmm. know, a, a piping hot one, just working through that all together was magic. 100% agree too. I mean, obviously the sort of like the premise of it and, you know, do you think this could ever actually happen in real life? And how do you see it as, you know, maybe the kind of like feminist credentials of, of Gretchen's, you know, kind of ideology? I mean, at this point in 2020, I wouldn't be surprised, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Not sure, but I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, no, Gretchen is, um, she, she's um, passionate for sure. Um, so I could, I mean, there's people with um, similar, uh, how do you say, like, um, people love a social experiment and they love to challenge people and see what they would do under extreme circumstances. So I wouldn't rule mm -hmm. it out. All right, well, let's see if it ever happens. <laughs> thanks so much for your time. I think um, my time's up, but um, thanks so much and well done again. On Thank the, you so much. Thank you. Thank Lovely you. chatting with you. Bye. Nice to speak to you. Cheers. Bye. See ya.